And our top focus this bulletin where a shocking tale of apathy has surfaced. Indian marathon runners were allegedly forced to run without a drop of water at Rio. The only water for the parched to runners was at every eight kilometers and that too by Rio organizers. Watch this report on what OP Jesha has revealed about her Rio marathon. Just a year ago, she ran the marathon in the Beijing World Championship in two hours, 34 minutes. In Rio, she took 13 minutes longer. So why this huge difference? What changed for national record holder OP Jesha? As a result, Jaisha and the other Indian marathon contender, Kavita Tungar, had to run the entire 42 and a half kilometer parched, with water only available at counters run by reorganizers every 8 kilometers. Too long a distance for any runner. Jaisha managed to cover the distance but collapsed at the finish line. हमको नहीं पता था ऐसा सिचुएशन होगा हमको नहीं पता कंपटीशन का पहला हमको नहीं पता था क्योंकि वर्ल्ड चैंपियनशिप भागा उसी टाइम भी ऐसा था हर जगह में खाना मूवीज वर्ल्ड चैंपियनशिप में बीजिंग में था चाइना हर चीज हम अवेलेबल था उधर में बट रियो में कुछ भी अवेलेबल नहीं था यही यही प्रॉब्लम हो गया क्योंकि हमारे ऑफिशियल भी वही सोचा होगा क्योंकि ये कॉमन सेंस का बात है Now let's tell you why the incident involving marathon runner OP Jaisha is such a shocking travesty. Now marathon runners need water to keep hydrating. They run many many kilometers. They need water constantly to actually stay in the race. Water stations on a routine basis are set up at a distance of every 2.5 kilometers. Runners are given water at these desks, sponges, glucose and also energy gels which are very essential to keep them running. But what happens when those desks are either absent or in India's case, shockingly empty. Athletes were forced to run without water. That's the most shocking case. 2.5 kilometers after every bit of that distance, they're supposed to be getting water. They actually got nothing. Water available only every 8 kilometers at organizer counters. She collapsed. She was unconscious. This picture actually depicts what happened immediately after the race. For two to three hours, she fainted. She was completely unconscious. The images couldn't have been starker. Politicians and babus jostling to get their moment with the winner, while their ilk too busy taking selfies and enjoying Rio. With Akshay Anath in Chennai, Bureau Report, India Today.